Hi everyone, welcome back to the card table. Well, two weeks ago, I'm showing a card trick to a friend of mine and he's expecting me to ask him to take a card. But I explain it's not that kind of a card trick. It's more of a personal challenge to myself to try and make various random cuts into the deck and try and find certain specific cards. Now, I know for a fact that when I take these cards out and show them to you, you won't be at all surprised to see that they're the four aces. And uh, come to mention it, neither was my friend. So I thought that I would give myself an additional challenge. And here's the idea that I came up with. I'm going to take the four aces. And not only am I going to insert them into different parts of the deck, I'm also going to make sure that they're facing the opposite way to all the other cards. Now, my friend agreed that this was a really good idea. And if I could find the cards under these conditions, it would be a really good trick. But he was also expecting me to succeed. So he wanted to give me an additional challenge. So he took the pack from me and he reversed half of the deck face up and half of the deck face down and he shuffled those cards together. And he said to me, okay, hot shot, find those aces now. Now, I knew it was going to be really, really difficult, but I was also up for the challenge because I knew those aces were in the deck somewhere, even though they were hidden among face up and face down cards. I knew the first ace would be quite easy for me to find because there were four of them in the deck. The odds were pretty good. So I made a random cut and would you believe it, I actually got lucky with the first ace. But I decided to rely on luck a little bit more for the second ace and give the pack a lucky magic rub. And that got me my second ace. From here on in I knew it was going to get much, much more difficult. So I decided to rely on the top shot move. And that got me my third ace. Now I knew the last ace was going to be the hardest one of all because the pack was in a terrible condition. Some of the cards were face up and some of the cards were face down. So I knew that to find that last ace I'd have to do something very magical. So I took the cards and gave them that special magic twist. And that did two things. The first thing was it actually straightened out the entire deck. So all the cards were now facing the right way. And the second thing is that it revealed the fourth and final missing ace. But you know what? I have to be honest with you guys. And I didn't tell this to my friend, but I was actually using a marked deck. Yeah, have a look at the backs of these aces and then have a look at the rest of the deck. Can you see that they're marked slightly differently to the aces? <laughs> and you know what would be a really good trick is if I could turn those aces over and show you that they also had red backs as well. <laughs> but of course, that would be impossible. Thanks guys. See you next time at the card table.